In this video, we'll take a look at how to load Gerber's NC data, ODB++ files, IPC, D356, and Atlist, all into CAM350. The preferred way of loading Gerber files into CAM350 is through the use of the auto import screen. So file import, auto import. Point towards the directory in which the Gerber files we want to load exists. Uh, we can use templates. Templates will look at these file names and actually discern what the file types are from those file names. We hit next. It not only has identified these as Gerber layers and IPC and NC data, but it's also filled out the layer types for us as well. We'll hit finish. Our design is loaded. We'll go over to the navigation pane double click on a layer we'll bring that layer up by itself if we want to add see additional layers just single click and we can see the additional layers as well there are many options over here with a right click on this first column as far as how to manipulate the layers uh, which layers to put on top uh, what the colors for the layers might be uh, we can add layers copy layers delete layers rename layers renumber layers, so many options as far as how we treat the layers available to us there. We have all the decodes that are used available to us here and clicking on a decode will highlight that particular decode. Uh, we can even get a mouse over here to show us the shape of that particular decode. Uh, if we've loaded an IPC 356 netlist we can see those net locations uh, simply by clicking on a particular net name and of course we can choose multiple ones here if we want to see multiple nets. Drill tools as long as we're viewing our uh, drill layer we can actually highlight particular drill tools and see their locations as well. So these are some of the options available to you when loading a set of Gerber files in CAM350. Next, let's take a look at loading an ODB++ file into CAM350. So very similar, file import, but now we'll choose ODB++. And we just want to point towards the actual ODB++ file, and usually that is a .tgz extension. And we'll choose that there. Click on Open. And it will go ahead and uncompress that file and load it up. And of course, one of the advantages to loading ODB++ file is that not only do we get Gerber's, but we get net lists, we get uh, uh, board outlines, we get uh, components. So a lot more information comes across when loading ODB++ as opposed to loading Gerber files. So again, we have our layers here, and we can again double click. We can also view uh, component outlines if we want to. So let's turn those on so you can get an idea where the component outlines are. And as you can see here, uh, the dotted lines being components that are on the back side and the solid lines being components that are on the front side. So I can see those. Uh, I can actually go to parts in uh, the navigation pane and choose individual parts and have them shown to me. Uh, I can choose multiple ones if I want to and see those. So it gives you a lot, of, a lot more viewing options a lot from a, an intelligence standpoint uh, than viewing just dumb Gerber files. Uh, we've got our nets here that we can choose and see the length of them. We can choose multiple nets if we want to see those as well. Um, and of course all the other items here worked as they did on the Gerber files. So this is loading Gerber files or ODB++ into CAM350 and some of the view options that are available to you.